Hey there and welcome to this video. I'm Jerry Hopper. I'm going to show you uh, in a few steps how I created this awesome video uh, with Arma Reforger tools. The uh, video got quite some attention and of course um, a few people wanted to know how I did this. Well this requires no technical skills at all. It's just very simple and um, soon you will be making your own very cool movies. So let's start by uh, starting the Arma Reforger tools. There's no project. Let's create a new project. Arma Cinema. We just keep it standard and that's it. Okay, there we have it. The Enfusion Workbench. Um, what do we want to do first? It's different than uh, mission makers do. Uh, we want to create uh, a complete editable Eden. And why is that? Because we want complete control over a lot of things, especially the time and date manager, which is really a pain in the ass if you have to override it. And, and it's just very much simpler for everybody to do it like this, I think. So. Here we go. Let's make, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to import the Eden world. And you see, this is the original Arma Reforger. And here we have a folder worlds and a folder Eden. So we're going to recreate this in our own little project. So here we go. We're going to create a folder. Okay. Um, now we're going to create another folder Eden. And that's it. Okay, so we now have in our project folder, we have a folder called Worlds and there a folder Eden. Now we're going to open Eden. Oh, we're going to open Eden. And here we go. And <coughs> we're going to directly save this version of Eden in our own project and we'll be ignoring some warnings so here we go save the world as we're gonna navigate to the Arma Cinema our project folder hmm, into the worlds into Eden and there we dump it just like the original one no here's the warning save as won't copy the terrain so um, normally, if you you would do this in a multiplayer mission and it, um, uh, you have don't have the correct folder structure, uh, you would miss the terrain. So you will have, will have some water and some floating trees and stones. Well, anyways, um, we have the correct folder structure, so we can go on and save the world. So this is it. Um, we have saved Eden and that's actually it we're now done uh, what we now want to do is open Eden again uh, but from our Arma Cinema project folder so here it is we're gonna load Eden now we're gonna do a few little tricks that makes life a little bit easier especially with a time and date manager or time and weather manager Okay, so here we have a complete editable Eden. And why do I want it completely editable? Well, first, I like to have control of um, the time and date without any hustle. And on the other hand, I would, I might want to remove stuff for certain scenes. I want to, I might want to remove houses, trees, stones, whatever, for any scene I want to create. So I'm now not stuck to a uh, non-editable Eden. I can just edit it. Well, here we go. Um, first, we're going to create a layer and call this managers. Why? It's just easy. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to look for all the managers inside Eden, which is editable. We're going to multi-select them, control X, 
So we cut them out of the uh, original world. I'm gonna switch to our manager layer. And here we are, we do control V and here we have all the um, managers. So now we can, if we want, we can lock the default layer or we could maybe even uh, rename it, uh, which might be a good idea. Voila. Um, there we have it. Now we're going to lock it so we don't make any weird changes. Um, here's the uh, managers layer. And uh, what is specifically interesting is the time and weather manager. If you want to do some shot in the dark, in the rain or whatever, the weather manager is really uh, coming in handy. Um, well, at least we now have our project done. Let's show you a little bit about the time and date. You can see here, it's very simple. You can choose any time and date of uh, what you want and it won't conflict with the original uh, time and weather manager, which is in the non-editable Eden. Okay, so um, that's done. Now you want to have something like a video. Um, you might have noticed it uh, on the bottom here. You will see this cinematic timeline thingy. Uh, you can find it by clicking here on these tabs below. So we want the cinematic timeline. And now actually we're done. Uh, we don't need to do anything. Just for the record, I'm creating a new layer for scenes where I store my scenes. Um, I'm going to lock the managers so nothing, uh, I can fuck up nothing over there. And here we are on the scenes layer and actually we don't have to do anything. We just want to find a nice spot here. Um, let's see. Oh, that's nice. The lighthouse. Let's see what we can do with the lighthouse <coughs> because the buck fast wine created a nice screenshot of this lighthouse and posted it in the Twitter. <coughs> well, we're just navigating to a nice spot where we want to start. Now the magic from the cinematic timeline. Here it is. We want to create a scene. In my case, scene one. All right. So here we have it. The scene is created. Um, it will be 350 frames. Um, you can press preview, but there's nothing there yet because you need to add a track. Now, for now, I only know what to do with the camera track. Uh, I'm fiddling a bit with the animation track and the script event track, but for now, let's start with the camera track. So we're adding a camera track and let's call it camera. And this is it. So we now have a timeline, uh, 350 frames, and uh, we're gonna set a keyframe for this particular view. So we're gonna say, okay, this is a starting point and we make a keyframe. Now we go to the end, uh, like on frame 350, we're gonna go to like, um, Voila. It's a nice spot. Let's click again for another keyframe and now rewind everything. And this is a sort of um, play and rewind button. Um, let's press the play button. And here we have it. Our first animation. 350 frames. That's it. So this is all there is to it. This is the very, very, very basic. How do you save this um, video? Well, it's easy. You press the export button and it will export. But there are a few settings here you have to keep in mind. You can, for instance, export to 4K. You can export to 60 frames per second, which might be handy if you want to work with slow-mo um, stuff. So like if you want to, in a firefight and you see all the, the, the shells from the ammo flying through the air you might want to use like 240 fps it will take a long time rendering but then you can play with the speed of your uh, material and that can create some awesome effects well actually this is self, uh, very self-explanatory um, this is it um, exporting will export a sequence of images in a folder including an audio file which you uh, have to put in a video editor and make it a movie. 
but for now uh, here you can animate anything in the uh, world editor so now let's uh, do a little preview and now it will be switching to game mode stuff like the time and weather will kick in which is uh, something that doesn't work really good in the sort of uh, the preview I show you later and here it is sound and there we have it now <coughs> this is uh, very easy of course and let's make it a little bit more pleasing uh, to the eye and let's play a little bit with the time and weather manager the time and weather manager allows you to change the time of date of course and and uh, wind and all kind of stuff so we don't have to watch this we just go to the managers um, layer we have to unlock it for now because I want to edit something you go to the time and weather manager now here on the right you will see um, the time and weather manager we want to see this the unsorted uh, part here we can see um, the duration of the day well this is like a full day let's shorten the day a little bit that means a complete 24-hour cycle would take a lot less time um, and here is the initial daytime and now let's see what happening when I'm pulling the slider to the left you will see the Sun going down and this is actually something very nice so we got the time switched we have it here it looks quite nice um, let's give it um, 1800 frames so it's a little bit longer with right mouse button you can grab the timeline and you can scroll to the right there's no way to zoom in and zoom out or not that I know um, okay so now we're gonna move this spot to the right so we have a longer video as you can see you can move these keyframes and uh, this is actually very simple um, there are more options to play with and there's more options to set keyframes for for instance field of view and all that kind of stuff uh, the angles even HDR so um, I won't cover this you wanted to know simply how to create a nice video well here we have it um, let's scroll it back and quickly play it in preview as you see here <coughs> um, nothing really happens with the weather and the Sun it's not being previewed here um, so if you want to see that you need to go like for the real preview and that's what we're gonna do now And there we have it. Crickets. The sun is rising. And this would be a nice moment to play with HDR settings, which uh, allows you to see into the sun. And uh, like now it's a big white bloom. But hey, go nuts on the timeline with the settings. It's really interesting. Oh, that's actually quite nice. This and for the record, um, this is everything you need to know. You can also um, put objects down. You can uh, put lights down, um, and in a night scene, that that stuff just looks amazing. Um, well. As you can see here we ended up here and I feel like I need a little bit more like this because the Sun will go through the lighthouse now and let's have another quick look before we render it It's a beautiful morning at Greg uh, Lighthouse, Greg Point Lighthouse.
I'm missing the Z girls, actually. Uh, okay, it needs a little bit more tweaking, but hey, you'll get the idea. So this is it. It's uh, very simple. Um, how to create a movie uh, within the world editor from Arma Reforger. Voila, there we have it. Um, as you can see, there's many more stuff to play to play with. Um, just try and um, uh, export your animation. Uh, okay, let's see. Boom. <coughs> and now the image sequence will be rendered according to the settings from your export settings. So it's quite easy to build a time lapse. Actually, um, you just need a very long timeline. And there it is. The sun is rising. And we got our first cinematic video um, of a sunrise as a time lapse. Well, I hope this inspires you and uh, a lot of other people um, to create something interesting in Arma Reforger. And uh, I can't wait to see animations in, in, in the characters. Um, and maybe I make a, a, another movie when I know more about certain specific things uh, to play with here on the cinematic timeline. Well, obviously this uh, rendering would take uh, too much time on my old computer, um, but in the end it, it works very nice. If you wonder how I get um, uh, a very high uh, usage time on my uh, Arma Reforger tools, well, rendering a whole day of uh, sunrise, sundown takes a lot of time and this explains why I have this absurd high uh, usage time on the armory forger tools okay so that's it for now um i hope you enjoyed it um let's see what you made up and uh be sure to tag me on twitter if you created something nice or created a video and uh, have fun <laughs>